Also in 1934, Otley publishes his most important book, The Treatise on Documentation, The Book on the Book. This is where we find the most visionary pages, where already the concept of the computer emerges. Here, the workspace is no longer cluttered with any books. In their place, a screen and a telephone within reach. Over there, in an immense edifice, are all the books and information. From there, the page to be read, in order to know the answer to the question asked by telephone, is made to appear on the screen. A screen could be divided in half, by four, or even by ten, if multiple texts and documents had to be consulted simultaneously. There would be a loudspeaker if the image had to be complemented by oral data, and this improvement could continue to the point of automating the call for on-screen data. Cinema, phonographs, radio, television, these instruments taken as substitutes for the book will in fact become the new book. The most powerful works for the diffusion of human thought. This will be the radiated library and the televised book.